Uh, this double row here, you can see this is the, each year I've been playing around with some hot peppers that had crossed and uh, I'm getting all types of variations. Some of them are quite beautiful. And I've sent these to some Tomatoville members to help grow out and I think they enjoyed participating in it. Uh, just variations on slender peppers of various colors. Um, a lot of them are purple, some of them go yellow or chartreuse. And this is actually one of the ones I'm aiming for, which is that darker foliage with the clusters of cone-shaped yellow to purple. So, now let's move on to tomatoes. And some of these are being hit by disease, which isn't surprising. This is a variety called silvery fir tree, which I've found a challenge to grow uh, in good health in the past, and this year is no exception. It starts off great, sets lots of fruit, then it starts to get what, what looks like verticillium wilt, I mean, sorry, fusarium wilt, foliage turning yellow, but the fruit are pretty good sized. This is variegated. It's about four feet tall. There's good variegation on the foliage and there's some really good fruit set. This is pretty typical for Kimberly. Kimberly's having some troubles with lower foliage disease as you can see. Um, so I'll just pull that off but there's some good fruit set. And then these are the dwarfs. Um, this first one I'll highlight is a, a Beauty F2. Um, and there's a green fruit developing. I don't see any stripes yet. This double row is a bit behind the rest, but you can get a sense of the size and the health. Some of them are shooting out some really good blossom clusters. Some of them have some foliage issues. I never get through a season with the dwarfs where everything comes out perfectly. But on June 30th, so far, we're looking pretty good. And some of these incredibly healthy, stocky plants are wild freds and uh, such. Um, you can see on this snowy F2, there's some fusarium coming on. Uh, even more vigorous are the next double row where we have some of the, the porkies and the tasties and the frosties. Some of them are struggling with foliage diseases, but there's a lot of fruit set. And take a look at that cluster of fruit in here on this uh, frosty. Again, some foliage that I need to pull off. Um, I'm not spraying with anything this year. I'm just letting the chips fall where they may, so I will have some losses. Uh, this is a serendipity F4, uh, where the fruit do have the striping, which, as we're hoping. For some reason, all the ones at this end, I'm getting some curled foliage. This is uh, a variety called Weroquai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you can see it's forming some fruit. It's an offspring of Lucky Cross. Uh, looking at the next row here, what's distinctive is you see different heights on some of these, and that's uh, just typical. We see segregation and get different heights of the dwarf. Some of them just shoot the blossom clusters right off the top. Um, the foliage tends to be quite tightly packed in, and I have the plants tightly packed in. Um, these last two rows are mostly the rosella, crimson, and purple grow-outs that I'm doing. And they're, they're doing quite well. There's some foliage issues. And just to show you, these last four plants are F6s or F7s of ones we've developed. So right here we have Kelly Green and an excellent fruit set on the Kelly Green. This is Barrel Beauty, a nice potato leaf plant. Uh, this is Emerald Giant which tends to be a large uh, fruited variety, green fruit, potato leaf, and it's starting to blossom. Mr. Snow has battled disease, but what I'm seeing this year on some of these Sneezy offspring is they're setting a lot of fruit, uh, a lot of blossoms right at the tip. And so you can really see the difference between dwarf varieties. These were planted at the same time of the indeterminates, and in some cases they're, they're uh, about only half or two-thirds of the height foliage is very dark green and crinkly and the plants just look great. This is summertime gold. You can see some uh, yellowing inside. That foliage has to go. 
This is Dwarf Sweet Sue. It's a nice fruit that's formed in there. Summer Sunrise and Summertime Green is uh, setting lots of fruit. And then we come down the other side with the Rosella Crimsons and some of these are additional F2s. Uh, one other thing I'm trying is I'm growing potatoes in grow bags, as you can see, um, just to try it out. And let's just sort of get a pan view of the driveway here. So behind, behind here I've got pots with just annuals. And uh, there's my water scarecrow, which uh, seems to be keeping the deer away. They haven't tasted my garden yet, which is kind of amazing by this date. And we can see the indeterminate tomatoes. Uh, this double row of dwarfs with some determinants or indeterminants in pots on the end. My experimental hot peppers. My larger potted established hot peppers with a few experiments in the Islander experiment. And then two double rows of dwarfs. Uh, yeah, it keeps me busy and it's taken a lot of watering this year. But even though there are a few things not looking as great as I would like, so far so good.